How about now? Okay. Yeah, you should bring me pound cake. That'd be good. So, shaped like a rectangular prism. So you draw that. Rectangle, rectangle, and connect them. This is number six, not number five. Okay. Uh, rectangular prism, that formula. Since we want the total. Oh, that doesn't fit on here. Go away. All right. So it is the total area, so it's pH plus 2B. We fill in our numbers as 12 by 6 by 4. Again, it doesn't really matter which side is which on a rectangular prism. We identify our base, which our best bet is to just take the bottom. It's, it's got to be the whole shape, though, so we say it's this rectangle that's 12 by 6. So we find perimeter area of that. So our perimeter, we add up all the sides, so 12 plus 6 plus 12 plus 6. Why are you talking? Nobody lives. It's 36. We find the area of that, which is 12 times 6, which is 72. This is for YouTube. It's not for you. For me, YouTube? For YouTube, yes. Go home, watch it. Like, comment, subscribe. And that's why you're not getting an A in my class. I'm getting a C. Okay, well, C's aren't good enough, so see you later. <laughs> All right, so perimeter is 36, base is 72. Uh, we need the height of the prism. The height is just the distance between two bases. It's also the number you didn't use in the base. That's just going to be 4. So 36 times 4 plus 2 times 72. Once you get here, you're just multiplying. So 36 times 4 is... Oh, let me do it. Well, then do it. You don't have to watch me. Oh. What? I got stuff to do today. Well, let's get this done. Because I know you know how to multiply. That's not what we're testing. If you can get to this point, this is the big deal. If you can get there, you're going to get these right. You know? Uh -huh. Okay, so this is 288 inches squared. Number seven. Uh, new pencil is shape of a cylinder. Pencil is five centimeters, or 0.5 centimeters diameter, 15 centimeters long. So we need to draw a pencil. Drawing a pencil. Oh my gosh. Hurry up. That actually came out really well. Oh. You can't lie. That looks you made the tip. Oh, it's great. Don't do it. <laughs> well, you told me to. Now you have to make the butt pink. Yeah, I don't even have a pink. Hold on. Uh, okay, there's our pencil. So it's 0.5 centimeters in diameter. So from here to there, it's 0.5. And it's 15 centimeters long. So what kind of shape is a pencil? It's a rectangle. Your pencil is a rectangle? My pencil is a cylinder. Then what shape is this pencil? It's a cylinder. It's a cylinder, okay. So we need the lateral surface area of that. So we look at our formula chart. So we're looking for lateral area of a cylinder. cylinder. This is right there. So we have S is 2 pi R H. 
So we look at our base. Our base on a cylinder is a circle. So I'm going to draw that out separately. And it says the diameter of that is 0.5, which doesn't help us out too much because we need the radius. So we need half of 0.5. So there's 0.25. If you're having trouble with that, you think of 0.50. And what's half of 50 cents is 25 cents. So our radius is going to be 0.25. Our height, we said, was 15. And then 2 and pi are just 2 and 3. Can I call my grandma? Sure. So 2 times 3 is 6, times 0.25. I did not show If you have 6 quarters, that's $1.50, or 1 1.5 times 15. 1.5 times 15 is a lot like 15 times 15, which does come out to 225. But you do have one decimal place, so that becomes 22.5. And that is our answer in centimeters squared. Hey, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Uh, number eight, we have a kick pan shaped like a cylinder with only one base. So this is how it's going to mess you up is because we only have one base here. So we look at, it's not quite lateral and it's not quite total. So we look at our, our chart. We look at our total area is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. We're going to start, we're just going to write that one down. So s is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. But then we're going to think about what the second part of the formula means. This 2 pi r squared, what this is, this is the area of our two bases, right? So pi r squared is the area of a circle. And then times 2 gives us two bases. But if we look, it says we only want to find the area of one base. So how could we change this? We could divide it by 2, or instead of multiplying by 2, could we just leave that part out? Yes, so we're just going to say we're going to use the formula for total, but we're not going to multiply our base times 2 because we don't have two bases. All right. The only other thing that might mess us up is it tells us that 8 inches is the distance all the way across, which is diameter or radius? That is the diameter. So we want half of that, which is 4. So our radius is going to be 4. So we substitute that in, 4, 4 squared. We have a height of 1.5, 1.5. And then everything else is just what it was, so 2 times 3, and then 3 over here. All right, so we do the square first, so 4 squared is 16. 16. I'm just going to copy everything else down so I can make it a little bit neater. Okay, if we do the left side, 2 times 3 six. is 6. Uh, 4 times 1.5. Or what's 1 and a half times 4? What's 15 times 4? Work it out. 60. 60 with one decimal place is 6. R6.0. So we have 6 times 6 plus 3 times 16 is? Hold on, let me work it out. No, don't write it down. Then don't look at it. So we just work our way through the problem here. 80, oops, it's this number, inches squared. It's 84. It is 84. And again, all this is sort of extra. If you can get this part, you're probably going to get it right. If you don't understand how to get that first line, you're probably going to mess some stuff up. 
you can look up the chart. Formula of a uh, cylinder dot com. Hashtag uh, YOLO. Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> YOLO 58. No. 22.5. Come on. Okay. All right. Pyramid has a square base with edges of 12 and a slant height of 16. I don't want to do this. This is the exact same thing as number four, only with different numbers. Now, I'm not telling you the answer because I don't remember what it is offhand, but I'm sure you can figure it out. No, you're not. And our last one, I probably shouldn't do this one either, but cylinders are not so bad. So radius of six and a height of 10. <laughs> this is a bad cylinder. The so radius of six, height of 10. What's our formula? Well, do we want the total or the lateral? We want the total. Total. How do we know we want the total? Because it doesn't say lateral. There you go. If it doesn't say find the lateral, then you find the total. It's 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Very good. And everything's given to us. This is really straightforward. So 2 is 2. Pi is 3. The radius is... 6 and the height is 10 plus 2 times 3 times 6 squared. So then we just do the calculations. Five hundred seventy six centimeters squared. Very good. So we're done. Bye guys. Kirsten says goodbye and they're throwing up gang signs or something. I don't know. <laughs>